Make a table in geometry nodes under five minutes where you can change the height, the length, and the width of the table, the thickness of the legs. Add a plane, add a geometry nodes modifier. Inside geometry nodes, add a cube. Shift click the cube node at preview it. This is going to be the leg of our table. We want the pivot point of this leg to be at the end of the leg. Let's add a set position, add 0.5 on the Z offset. We can scale this from the bottom using a transform node. And I want to expose these parameters by using a combined node and exposing the Z parameter. I will name this in the inputs as table height. Uh, so we can control this in the modifier and uh, it will control the height of the legs also controlling the height of the table for the thickness of the legs we can use a single value for the x and y scale so that's why i'm exposing one value and then feeding that into the x component and the y component now we also want to duplicate the legs uh, so that we have four legs but i want to duplicate this along a line like an array so i'm using a mesh line so add that and then add scale elements using the edge option and we want to scale this from the zero point or from the pivot point. So we're going to add a combine with uh, all the axes zeroed out. And that will make sure that uh, the, the center of the scale is at the pivot point like that. And now we can expose the scale element. We want to push this at the height of the table. So I'm adding a set position and uh, using the height the table height as the value for the for the z component of the offset of the set position now we can use this line to instance our table legs so let's add an instance on points and uh, put that between the set opposition and the geometry nodes output and i uh, use the the table instance we created already as our instance in the instance on points uh, node now you will see that uh, the tables are starting at the position of the line so we want to do what we want to do is just use another instance of the line while we haven't set what we haven't given it a set position uh, to offset it to the height of the table so that the table legs are always at the bottom so we're going to have now we can we can use that as the position of our legs and now you can see that uh, the legs and the height of the line match when we use the table height in the modifier inputs now we're going to use this line as the actual table platform so let's use an extrude mesh and uh, use the option edge to extrude the edge and uh, make sure the offset is zero we, we can offset it using a set, a set position so let's add that and uh, make sure that you use the top output of the extrude mesh as the selection in the set position node and uh, you can use the the y offset uh, to set the width of the table and uh, expose that using the combined x y z and make sure that you name it as table width or yeah like that and that will be the value for the table width so now we only have one set of legs let's duplicate that using a transform node and uh, connect it or join it to the join geometry and that will just make sure we have a copy now we can just translate these new legs to the position we want uh, since we already have uh, the table width from the x combined so i'm just going to drag that into the translate and that will match our table with this I like that and that yeah and now let's add some thickness to our table platform by adding an extrude node and extruding just the table platform alone but we also want to expand the extrude the the, the platform uh, to go over the edges of uh, the table so just add an extrude node and make sure that uh, you use a selection at uh, the side selection to make sure that the, only the sides are extruded uh, to make it uh, larger and uh, that's it uh, if you want this this, this table for free and ex and uh, just explore the geometry nodes i'll be leaving a link in the description uh, for my new website where i'll be posting all my free stuff uh, for you to download easily and uh, other tutorials text tutorials uh, that you can copy easily and uh, see what i'm using Thank you.